already back? That was a short break, but I'm glad to see you again. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a CyberLife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. <sighs> you know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Oh. <sighs> Did you say homicide? are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Josh Douglas for Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Typical DPD, they don't tell us shit. 
Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of stay in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell! It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home, I think. I'll be outside if you need me. like this. Chris, is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it.
door was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... with the bat. Lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah.
with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, I'm going to check something. Just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. job because of androids. Then I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? Go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. Sad. They're so fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? 
Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now! right for a father to hurt his daughter. Alice! Daddy's very mad! That's an order. You hear me? No. I want you to leave Alice alone. You want? What do you mean, you want? You don't want anything. You're just a goddamn piece of plastic. I think you got a problem. We need to fix that. Stop! 
That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them! Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here! Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. You need to leave, now. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing? That's enough, get out, right now. What makes what? it so special what? anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't? Leave him alone! Uh, uh. Come on, let's see what you got. Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me, what you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop, Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop mm. it, Leo! Stop Just it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! No. I forgot 
out you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, no, leave him alone. I'm no. I'm gonna destroy you. And then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nope. God. Leo. My little boy. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Oh, I, I, I didn't mean to. Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! 